worry guys, I'm alright. I hope you're alright too. So the purpose of this video is emergency profile. Probably something you would like to have on the bike just in case something like this will happen. Fortunately you can always leave someone a message and give you a call if you're not back on time. But the problem remains how to find you and fortunately this profile today will solve this problem for you. So I'm gonna ride home and then I'll show you how it works. Once profile is activated you get to see your estimated time of arrival home and that can be sent to a text as a text message to your preferred contact. Uh, profile will send a text message uh, which you can see on the screen and display the notification uh, with options to extend or end and the right now. So uh, the message will have all complete instructions and if you send a location text message you receive the update saying um, the accuracy and my pin on Google Maps. It will pinpoint our exact location, uh, not only the area if you use this uh, formatting. If you click extend you get to change your time and that will be updated and also you've got an option to notify the person of interest with a text message uh, saying that uh, you're gonna be a little bit later and uh, you know um, they shouldn't be worried about. So that's gonna be a text message uh, sent to the emergency contact uh, if you press extend. The last option is end uh, either by pressing and the profile or connecting automatically to your home Wi-Fi, uh, the profile will deactivate and send a message uh, saying that you are all right. Now do it's gonna grab our location from GPS when it's needed, uh, compose it with uh, the location within a Google uh, Maps uh, URL, uh, wait until uh, we are in range and then send the appropriate message. So the URL, uh, it's the query on the location. This way we're gonna have a pin on the map available instead of just pointing you to the general area. Uh, then we wait for five seconds and we check every five seconds if we are in range. If we're not in range, we'll wait and uh, you know, um, basically queue this message. And then we have two options to send the message. If the battery is low, we're running out of charge. Uh, we want to send the message saying that uh, we are right, it's just to be running out of battery and we're not going to be able to let someone know or, or deliver on our location, which makes sense. Uh, however, if our um, battery is okay, the message is slightly different and we're basically saying where we are right now and uh, if you know any questions or something they should give us a call if it's too late but that's gonna be handled a little bit differently later so basically this is our location and accuracy so yeah that's the uh, that's how the send task looks like now let's have a quick overview of our tasks so you would know what we're doing we're going to start this with a separate task called start and that's simply going to display a scene for us the initial one when you pick your parameters of return and telephone number and everything it's pretty easy to handle it's just create scene and show scene later on i've added destroy scene as a first option just to prevent the scene from hanging if you escape uh, the scene uh, in on a way about uh, then just playing uh, okay button in similar way we have constructed our extend task and what it's going to do it's going to display a second scene that will ask you for update uh, to your journey so that's basically it's just uh, cancelling the current notification collapsing bar and creating and showing the scene for you frankly speaking uh, the cancelling all profile task got home is very simple as well it uh, consists of a few actions to turn off uh, our uh, profiles that are being active cancelling notification then just waiting for a few seconds to send the text message and uh, lastly just disabling a uh, bike variable let's have a look at our scenes both are the same to be honest i've started with bike 999 and then later i've copied and removed some of the elements from interactive elements we have two number pickers uh, input text field and a checkbox and obviously a button and in extend scene uh, it's basically two um, number pickers, checkbox, that's it. The rest is just a not uh, used um, elements like text. Let's have a closer look at my first scene, bike 99. This is the scene that's going to be displayed as first. So we've got two number pickers, 
they both did act in the same way. One is responsible for hours, and that's from uh, 0 to 23 with default value of 0, and then bike hours is set to new val uh, value. And the second one is just exact mirror of the first one, and it's responsible for um, minutes, and that's from 0 to 59, and that sets uh, bike minutes uh, to new value. Next up, we have a text input field, and I predefined a value of a telephone number. For the purpose of this tutorial, it is my number to send the text messages and show you, and you can do that in the text file here. In a very similar fashion to number pickers, when the text has been changed, we're going to update uh, emergency contact uh, variable uh, to new value. Uh, you can see me removing old action because I was thinking about doing something else, but never mind. So yeah, all you need is just a single action to set emergency contact variable to a new entry. Lastly, there is a checkbox that we're going to deal with, and this checkbox uh, will basically allow us to send the text message to a contact specify in that uh, uh, field in the text entry uh, field and if a uh, checkbox is checked basically the text is being sent otherwise the text won't send. The way we're doing it we've got a new variable emergency send and we're gonna set it to new value as well by default and uh, again earlier on I have a different uh, way of uh, arranging things and I'm just removing the unnecessary action here. Now all that complicated stuff in this scene is being handled by the button itself. So when everything is set, all the variables has been filled in with the correct variable, with the correct values, uh, we're going to press that button OK. And basically this is the list of action that's gonna be performed. Firstly, we're gonna make sure that all our profiles uh, that's serving in this project are enabled. So we have a profile status signal check, low battery text location and time condition updates to enable. Now because I'm using Wi-Fi later to disable it, we have to turn off the Wi-Fi. Then we're gonna set the variable emergency contact uh, to a default value, so uh, the number you wish to uh, contact by default, and then the default values for bike hours and bike minutes to be set when these aren't set yet. Variable return time is being set twice depending on what numbers are taken in consideration and it adds extra zero for easier readability. Return time is being used in a text message to let person know when we're gonna return. Bike time variable is formatted with a dot in between so uh, the condition, time condition would respond to it. Then we're gonna issue a notification that we have an active profile, send the variable to one and display uh, the um, scene and obviously then we're gonna send that notification in a text message once we've got that all information uh, available for us to use. So let's take a look uh, quickly on the sent message. Uh, that's gonna be sent to our emergency contact only when the emergency send variable from that checkbox is on. And just example of the um, message, it contains the return time and uh, it will be sent when emergency send is on. Now, the uh, notification, you can put whatever you want. Uh, my notification has two actions, an extend, and it performs extend task, and then back home, and it performs back home task when pressed. Just please remember to format the um, variable bike time correctly so it would work in your condition. The second scene is very similar. So the number pickers work exactly in the same way as we just copy and update the same variable. So basically it's a copy and paste job. So in this case, just duplicate the scene and delete unnecessary elements. And that will be good enough for you. And the, I think the only change is the text message being sent in a send button. So when we have our actions, we uh, just fill them up in a very similar way as we did with formatting bike hours and uh, return time. And then just when we're sending a text message, it's slightly different saying that uh, we take a little bit longer and we should, back, uh, we should be back at that time. Other than that, everything is looking exactly the same. Of course, this profile can be used not only for cycling, you can use it for nights out, for any travels, trails or whatever. Um, modify for your kids use etc it's just an idea on uh, how to get the emergency contact set up and uh, how you can trigger this uh, feel free to add some more of your ideas it's just a bare bone profile that uh, I thought I'll share with you
these cars, seriously, they're getting really annoying. But the purpose of this video is avoiding the wind, obviously, and for f sake, this wind, seriously. Hey, selfie on my bike? Why not? I'm gonna crash someday. <laughs> today and the, I no I didn't go on the bike I, I, I went to make a video no not in office I'm, I'm outside it's complicated <laughs> <laughs>